first day. I'm not sure if he was actually here that day or not, but I remember <laughs> walking by his office and seeing. And anything that came off would be an exhausted because they did an autopsy in there. He really has a plan later, but um, anyways, you know, I'm thinking, okay, what is it about Bill that, that I know of and I, I've observed? You know, he seems to always be very passionate. He's really, really passionate about helping the employees, really kind of trying to get to the root of their problem, very creative in, in come, trying to come up with various solutions or how to solve uh, those problems. And then he has this real curious nature. You know, you'll see him kind of digging down in the details. Mm -hmm. And every so often, I'll have to bring him back out and say, OK, wait, wait. You know, and let, let's not go off on this tangent, even though it's really, really interesting. You know? um, let's, let's kind of focus on what the problem is. And I think you can all agree, he's probably a unique individual that we're all going to miss here because of uh, certain devices put up on them. This, these are just four out of the eight or so in, in our office here. <laughs> Can you imagine the, the 10,000 buildings that are ventilation systems that we got around the county? And like, I don't know, just different configurations. And I was always trying to figure out, okay, you know, how is he getting all of these made, you know? He's, he's got like five days out of the week off. <laughs> <laughs> the other two days, he's got to be spending doing this. I saw the assembly room, the, the manufacturing assembly room in here, and it's going full force. He had engaged Ashton at the building <laughs> The BIT, which stands for, what does it stand for? Building <coughs> Irritant Terminator. <laughs> I like that. There, there it is. The attorney says I should call it the red bit. So, so, and, and I was, I was baffled. I'm like, what did Bill do? What did he do? <laughs> oh. And finally, I had a hard, hard talk with, with um, Mr. Parrish. And he said, well, you know, I knew that there was an air quality problem in this building. You know, you can tell because my workers are coughing and sneezing and wheezing. And Bill came in and did all his testing, and he said he found nothing in the air that, that would be causing these symptoms. And he concluded that it's not the air quality, it's something you're eating. <laughs> okay, we're eating. Yeah. yeah. You're lucky I didn't take some other pictures that we came across. So, so Bill insisted it was not an air quality uh, issue. It was something that they were eating and drinking. And so that his solution is just to eliminate all the food from, from the area. So I think it said Bernie Sanders on it's it. It's running on vegetable oil. <laughs> it could be. It could be. And, and uh, in fact, when Hillary Clinton even came down here to have lunch at the Crave, he had his Bernie Sanders t-shirt on there, and he was going to walk in and, you know, cause a, a bunch Marcus. of trouble in there. And then, um, but, but I started thinking about this, and I thought, man, that, that doesn't seem, in my mind, to align. I mean, the belief of a uh, uh, bleeding heart liberal doesn't seem to align, in my mind, with how I see Bill. You know, I, and, and I was trying to think of, okay, you know, what is it about Bill? And they weren't allowed to have their food. Remember, take the so, food away. Yeah, that's right. They so weren't, starve they, the world. They weren't allowed to have their food. Right. So anyway, you can stand right here if you'd like. <laughs> All right, I'll read this out to you for those that can't read or it's too far and your eyes are too old to read it. <laughs> Bill's passionate and curious nature will drive him to continue pursuing, pursuing a helpful environment for all those he encounters. And I truly believe that. I, I think he's a very caring individual. Um, uh, I think we've all seen that, the way he treats the employees and really talks to them and really tries to find out what their problems are really not judging them as a lot of others might. Very good. I love that but, statement, so remember that part. <laughs> yeah. With that in mind, and knowing he will now be void of the vast resources that the county provides him, <laughs> like this big expensive lunch here, um, uh, it's only fitting to support him in his future endeavors. You know, we don't think he's going to be continuing on uh, you know, with the curiosity and the passion and so forth. Mm -hmm. so, one thing is, I believe he will believe that the Red Nader must live on. And of course, he doesn't have Ashley's labor to count on anymore. 
But in addition to that, there are a lot of a lot of things which which will help him get started in that. You can pull that out if you would like and show everybody. <laughs> it's the mini beer version of the red meat. <laughs> he can get started with that. <laughs> I couldn't find Raider, it's too expensive. <laughs> it's bug spray. Huh. This might kill off those mosquitoes right in front of me. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and then there's always time to relax from work and do his volunteer work, right? Because now he doesn't have the demands of having to come to work two days a week. <laughs> <laughs> And he gets up, coffee in his thing, turns to me and looks, Are you trying to kill me? <laughs> well, that's right. No, I was say that. Um, when I got to healthcare and I was the safety officer, and we were both in healthcare at the time. And so um, anytime there was an issue, you know, Bill was always, he was awesome. He knew who I was, which was cool. He would let me know what was going on. Actually, I want to thank you for that because he, he taught me a lot. And when you're dealing with, you know, employees, it, it is nice to at least be able to talk to them and kind of, kind of, what I'm saying, kind of um, explain to them after Bill does. So, um, but one of my favorite <laughs> memories with him was when I became the assistant county safety manager. And as you all know, the county safety manager at the time, Mark, left me. And I always say that he left within a couple of months of me getting this job. And then I was basically for a couple of months before Rick came on, kind of making sure everything was going. Good, which means Bill. So I had to take on Bill as well as all the other officers. And I will tell you, I was very scared because I know really very little about industrial hygiene. You know, our first one-on-one, -on -one, I'm going to do this. I'm going to keep things going until they can find Mark's replacement. And so Bill comes in with his spreadsheet and he starts talking and to me it just is becoming this huge foreign foreign language. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my God, I am, when are they gonna replace Mark? Right? They have each other, you know. <laughs> I am so screwed right now. So I was and finally I looked at him and I go, Bill, it's me. <laughs> Tell me what we're gonna get in trouble. <laughs> what do I need to know? And what could get us in trouble, you know, that type of thing. And Bill was like, oh, okay. Blah, 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 you know, really quick, quick, quick. And it was like, I was like, that's what I need to know. So I appreciate you, Bill, for being so flexible for me because that is one of the other things. Uh, you know, he, he was flexible with a manager that had no idea what she was doing related to his occupation. So thank you for doing that. And also, oh, you guys yeah. remember that? So he was yeah. looking for something, I think it was on LaSalle, right? You were trying to. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and there was something related to the coffee. And so that's what I'm saying, when I realized I had no idea what I was doing with industrial hygiene, I went to go find him, and because I had a question and people were calling me, and of course I had no idea what to tell them, so I, you know, was looking for Bill. And I go in and he's over here, you know, in one of the rooms, and he's doing these experiments, and I remember just walking in, seeing all of this stuff, and this coffee, all of it, and I just remember just turning around, going, ah, never, <laughs> never mind, I'll just go figure it out, so he said so. I just said, that was, it was so funny just seeing you with all of the stuff and these were just coffee grounds. And I'm thinking, what the hell are you doing with these coffee grounds? Anyway, thank you, Bill. Thank you very much for always being That's good. not only. I'm just releasing that report today. Are you really? <laughs> really? Oh, wow. Finally. Oh, that was a long time ago. Yeah, it was two years ago. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, thank you The attorneys wanted it, too. That really made me apprehensive. For always helping me when I needed it. You 
From the first day, she's thinking that he hasn't changed. From the day I first met him, which was what, 14 years ago when he was with health care. And um, I used to see him down in Vernon's office and Vernon's screaming at him all the time. <laughs> and Bill would be sitting there nodding. Yeah, but he screamed at everybody. He, yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah. He was that an was equal Vernon. opportunity okay. screamer. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this is my story now. Okay. I'm just making reference to things here, which we said we could do. But what I honest and, and then, as you, you know, he's so scientific. We all know that. We know that from going into the break room, finding all the surprises up in the freezer, oh, yes. yeah. <laughs> and then wondering oh, yeah, about the, the lunches that we brought in that are in the room. But that's okay, because we knew we had faith in um, Bill. But one story that I did want to convey briefly to everybody is as scientific as he is, when everybody was complaining to me about the black mold in our office as you went out that back door to third street because there was this black streak coming down the wall so i got bill and i said bill can you help us out and he always that is that's very true anytime you called bill he was there so i got bill that day when he was here working on a day he was working <laughs> and i said bill we think the air conditioner from inside the telecommunication room. Anyway, on the outside now, we've got this black gunk running down the wall. Everybody is getting concerned about black mold, and we all know how toxic and dangerous black mold can be. And Einstein said, took his finger and ran it down the wall on top of the black mold, and he goes, yeah, it's black mold. <laughs> <laughs> walked away. And I'm standing there going, Hey, thank you, Bill. <laughs> so, 